Hi, it's been one week since I released the script that I made with Setsam, the track icon selector script, and I'm very happy that we managed to push a bunch of really good updates. It's this huge list right here, and um, it's mostly tiny fixes and some really cool features that I'm gonna show you, which by the way, I am not selling this script. This script is free and you can get it in the description. You don't need to buy anything. I am however selling all of these track icons and all of these toolbar icons that you can get for $5 off right now. And I think the sale is ending soon. So you can check it out in the description. A lot of you ask for the search field to be out of focus when you run the script. So when you run the script, you can immediately start typing. That is such a good suggestion. I really, really like that. So it makes it really easy to just press the shortcut of the script and then just go drums and just, just select any of these drums. But you know what makes it faster? This new drag and drop feature that we have in here, look at this. You can now click and drag into any track, any icon that you want that is so good, I love this. I didn't know this was possible. Like someone suggested this in the forum and I didn't even bother telling Setsam that we can make this. I couldn't believe it when he implemented it. And this just makes it so fast. You can simply click and drag any icon that you want in any track. And it's just amazing. And by the way, this works in the TCP as well that it works on the MCP like this. You can simply click and drag and it works. And you can even do your master track so I'm gonna click and drag into my master track right here. If you wanna show icons in the mixer, just right click anywhere in an empty field of the mixer and enable show track icons in mixer. This way you can see these cool icons right there above your tracks. So right here on the left side, we have the first version of the script. And one of the major changes, well, not major, but something that was very jarring. So every time you made a track, or you didn't select a track, it will tell you select a track. And it was very jarring when you did a lot of adding. Yeah, I got rid of that. So now it's always showing like that. Another thing we changed on the sidebar is that it used to not be ordered by alphabet and it's something I wanted from the beginning, but it was complicated to set up, but we managed to do it. And yeah, now it's ordered by from A to C. And it's also now responsive. The sidebar used to be a fits width but now it's a width that is based on the longest word of your list. The other things that we have going on is that it used to not remember the size that you had it on. So if you had it tiny like this, it wouldn't remember, it will always reset, but it now remembers the size that you had it. One thing I really wanted is being able to delete an icon from here because sometimes I just wanna clear this icon. And now you have this little button in here to remove the track icon. So just select any track or multiple tracks and press this button and it will delete the track icon. Another thing is that you were not able to undo while the script was open. So now you're able to do command C even if the script is open and it's gonna remember all the series of icons that you went through. So you can do command C, command C and it works. And that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of things for just one week. And there's also a lot of small tweaks and fixes and make sure that it works across all systems. So let me know if you still have any suggestions. I, again, want to make this even better. Don't forget to check out the essential icons pack that I released for Reaper. It's a bunch of icons. I'm very proud of them. I think you're going to love them. I'm running a sale and I think it's ending soon. Uh, you can get it for $5 off. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.